Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today I've done some quick testing and verification of the key features within Tarkov's latest patch 0.14.1.1 which is the reworked version of the patch that got rolled back recently due to issues. Most of the patch notes are a copy paste from last time but there are a couple of key changes. Firstly, the pistols, shotguns and SKS recoil adjustments have not been reinstated this time around and they are not mentioned in the patch notes. However, there were 8 armors that we were expecting to be upgraded from class 3 soft armor and this did get put through despite it not being mentioned in the notes either. As a reminder, these were 4 that protect the full front of thorax which I think are quite good which is the ANA M2, the Highcom Trooper, the Bagari and the Cry AVS and then there were 4 that only protect the plate area with soft armor being the Ars Armor CPC, the Tactech, the Tagilarig and the Cry Precision CPC Goons armor. One further change was to add side plate slots to the SNS Precision Plate Frame, which is the other goon's armor worn by Big Pipe, but this is one that has no soft protection at all, so it's not one that I recommend wearing. The patch notes themselves also include this line here, fix the algorithm of fog generation and its density on the locations. As a community, we did notice that when the snow went away, overall visibility felt really bad in terms of fog. Whether this was simply due to the fact that we had gotten used to it previously and the snow showed it up, or that the snow visibility was actually very different but felt great to play, but either way, this would be very welcome. From some cursory testing, it seems like the fog is possibly even worse than it was before on streets, but would seem to be alright, so I think we'll need to play with this one for a bit in a few different weather conditions to decide if something meaningful has changed. I still think that this should be toned down a lot, it's really bizarre that you can have a perfectly sunny day on streets and still not be able to see properly to the end of the street. On to the ballistics testing, I've just done the very basics here for now, firstly checking that damage mitigation is working for class 4 and class 5 plates as well as for the ULA soft armor and indeed all of these prevent one shots from APM ammo which is my go to for testing this. The class 4 ULA inbuilt armor reduced APM's damage by 20% to 72 from its original value of 90, the class 4 plate which we used a monocle for with a class 3 armor behind in an osprey protection rig reduced it by 36% to 58 and the class 5 plate let through 11 or 12 points of blunt damage when at full durability again with a class 3 backing. The first shot that got through this one was at 31 out of 45 durability which is just under 70% of its max and this let in 45 damage reducing the APM by 50% which is huge. For reference this is one of the class 5 GAC plates, the 3S15M. So given that this seems to work now and the damage reduction is higher than it used to be possible in the old armor system because this only went up to 40% reduction previously, overall this is a decent buff to replaceable plates despite the introduction of blunt damage. Helmet layering also seems to be working as intended, no longer does the bullet instantly kill you if the first piece of armor fails and we saw a class 3 fast MT face shield with the class 2 death shadow behind save our PMC all the way down to 1 out of 40 with some of them being caught by the mask and transferring blunt damage only. There have also been a few people stating or also speculating that fragmentation has been removed in the game and so far we tested M855A1 against both legs and arms from an M4 and saw no fragmentation at all. I know that fragmentation has been a bit screwy for the last couple of patches but M855A1's listed headline chance at least is 44% so this indicates that it could well be true but we'd probably need to do a few more tests with some different ammos and guns just to make sure that this is the case. Finally with the head hitbox changes I like to check APSX headshots as with 35 damage it never used to one shot heads because of damage reduction over distance but it started to in 14.0 for the first time. As of 14.1.1 it does still one shot to the head despite only dealing 34 damage at range because of drop off. As I have said previously I actually like this behaviour and the implication is that you can kill players at much longer ranges with other ammo too such as M855A1 so long as you penetrate the helmet. This is despite the fact that although the ammo might not be dealing 35 headline damage, if it has the pen to get through a helmet it might still one shot due to whatever mechanic this is that gives rise to the effect. Since the main patch there has also been a technical update attempting to fix an issue that caused third person and first person player positions to be out of sync after changing a PMC's body position i.e. crouching and standing. Hopefully this means that the bug is fixed as it has been widely talked about in the last couple of days. If you're watching this video just as it comes out I'll probably be live both over on YouTube and Twitch as normal so do pop in if you're around otherwise as usual a big shout out to all my patrons and as always have fun in your raids.